Welcome to the Windows and uh, Computer Channel and Technology. We'll I've actually rename the channel Windows Computers and Technology. So no more numbering system. It always gonna should be compatible technically, as long as Windows exists. Um, lots of questions about bugs. Are there any bugs in here? Are there any problems in this build of Windows 11? Uh, yeah, there's a few that people are reporting here and there. Absolutely. Um, one of them that is the most reported is the taskbar start menu aren't showing on the screen. I personally think it's something that has to do with the resolution. I think the people that have that problem, it's there, but it's just out of the screen range for some reason. So that's one of the things. I've seen it happen in the virtual machine. I had to rearrange uh, the virtual machine for it to actually show up right. Now, this one is running on a real machine. A lot of people are saying it's not running on real machines. It is, but there's a trick for that to happen. Um, now, one of the things about TPM 2.0, a lot of people are asking, so my computer will not be compatible. I don't think that will be a requirement. The reason why is that they would cut too much computers off of the grid of Windows 10, or Windows 11, sorry. So this is an internal requirement for this build that was leaked because internally it's probably a requirement. But once we get a build, once we get the official thing, I think TPM 2.0 will not be an absolute requirement for the consumer version. Um, and I think that most computers running Windows 10 will still will be able to upgrade to Windows 11, frankly. A lot of questions about uh, Windows 11, of course, um, um, uh, upgrade from people. So like I said, I have, um, I have a feeling that it's going to be okay. And yes, it's going to be free. There's, you, you know, it's impossible Microsoft will charge people for upgrading to Windows 11. It, it's going to be a free upgrade to Windows 10 and Windows 8 users. Once again, I've, you know, in the dev build, we've seen people with Windows 8 keys actually activate Windows 11. So it's going to be like Windows 10. If you have a valid key of Windows 8 or Windows 10, you'll be go, able to go to Windows 11. Is a valid key of Windows 7 working? That's another question that I don't know if, it's, if we don't know if it's going to work or not. Um, are there any other bugs? Yes, some people, you know, when we go to our, um, our, our software, sometimes we have drag and drop capabilities. So we take files and we drag them and drop them in another place. And for example, it could be on the web. You need to drop a file on, on you know, uh, a cloud storage. Uh, that feature seems to be broken on a lot of software with Windows 11. So you have to go to the old school way of going to file and you know and search or file and 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 um, and open and and you know all of the, the the old school things we did to go into a folder and click on the file and have it added, uh, which means that there's some kind of thing that are broken in here. It's not that they removed it; it's just broken. Um, remember, this is a build that is a test build, so they probably haven't completed everything that is working right or not yet. Is Cortana in here? Of course, Cortana is in here. It's uh, still part of Windows 11. It's a changed thing, so people don't think about the fact that this is going to be, you know, a, a back to, win to the Cortana we had in 2015 as a standard assistant. That's not going to happen. Uh, they are focusing Cortana for productivity, for work. So it's a different thing today than it was in the past. Uh, that is for sure. Um, concerning, of course, Windows 11 um, also is, um, personally, I've had pretty much no problems. So that's good because it's been working fine on this machine that I've installed it on. People are asking, is Internet Explorer still part of it? Well, if you go into Internet Explorer, you'll have um, change search provider in Internet Explorer. So what this tells you is that there's the basics of Internet Explorer still here. You see all the, uh, the menus and the privacy control and program in advanced. This is stuff that's part of Internet Explorer uh, for the Internet properties, meaning that there's still a minimum of Internet Explorer in it. Uh, I know a lot of people don't, can't conceive why this is still there. It's 
it's related to enterprise. Enterprise still have a certain amount of things that use this and they can't they have a hard time getting rid of it for the most part but the full-blown internet explorer program is not present you have you'd have to go into settings and have to add the extra internet explorer 11 if you wanted to have it but um, you know slowly this is going away and um, hopefully it's going to be gone soon uh, so these are some of the questions that people have been asking that i'll answered in this video. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.